good afternoon good evening at whatever point you are at whatever place you are watching us from or from whatever point of this world you are watching us from karibu sana this is rose salwa and here we are about vulnerability acceptance and hope if it is your first time here please take some time and subscribe to our youtube channel so that anytime we uh, post new video you will be notified if it is uh, you are returning subscriber karibu sana karibu sana karibu thank you so much for being part of rosalwa we truly really really appreciate this is a beautiful day that the lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it now if you're following here you're following rosalwa please consider if you're not born again please consider accepting lord, the lord jesus as your personal savior because there is no way we can do this life without jesus so, mm, mm, mm. jesus makes the difference i'm gonna make my cup overflow jesus is everything everything and everything beautiful so that if you're here and um kidogo you have been disappointed by some people and you think that Jesus ain't real. Please, Jesus is real. Follow Jesus and Jesus alone. So anyway, karibuni sana. Let's get into today's video. Karibuni sana. Welcome back. So in today's video, guys, um we have a lot to talk about but i will make sure that this video is as short as possible now i don't know and um this video is going to be relevant i think to most of you um because i'm going to talk, talk about something that is uh, we are going to be discussing and please share also with me we are going to discuss a topic that is applies to all of us especially those of us that are born again so if you are not born again, please consider accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior. We want to talk about authority in prayer. The authority in prayer. So, I have had some discussions with various people and um, within my circles and generally. And people kind of ask, how do you pray for more than one hour? How do you pray for more than five minutes? How do you even go to a prayer center for 21 days and you are praying? What is it that you are talking about? We have had those discussions. Now, um, I want to say that prayer is something that people grow in. Prayer is a skill. The more you pray, the more you pray. The more you pray, the more you learn how to pray. And let me tell you that a, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless Christian is a frustrated Christian. You get beaten by the winds from the right to the left, from the south to the north. You are just beaten all over if you do not pray. And that's why the Bible would say, pray without ceasing. If you are happy, pray. If you are sad, pray. If you are sick, pray. Like prayer is something that we ought to do all the time as children of God. Because a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Now, what does prayer do? Prayer changes things. And I know this has been said, that prayer changes things. Everybody has said prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. It has been written in even in some matatus. Prayer changes things. Or even prayer works. It has been said that all those things, that all those nice things you've heard about prayer. But let me tell you, the prayer that makes extraordinary difference is consistent prayer. Consistent prayer. You've heard people say, I fight my battles in my knees. Yeah. What does that really mean? What does it mean to fight your battles 
in your knees, on your knees, that I am on my knees. I choose not to fight you, but I will fight this battle in my knees. Now, we are here in this video today for me to be, to encourage you that child of God, when you pray, you have authority that no one has here on earth. Prayer gives you access to godly realms. Prayer gives you authority that no one else has. Trust me, there is no time, there is no one that can ever go wrong in the place of prayer. Visions are born in the place of prayer. Issues are sorted in the place of, place of prayer. You know, people are looking for authority in other places. People are looking for power to be able to manipulate things down here. People are looking, but if you need power to operate down here, you must be a person of prayer. Because when you pray, God moves on your behalf. God moves on your behalf. There are things that God will not do until you have prayed. Hmm. Prayer changes things. And I know you have also heard that you know uh, in this country there's a deep state in the political realm, there's, in the political circles, there's a deep state. In uh, such and such an organization, there's a deep state. In the leadership of who, there's a deep state. There's a what, what, there's a deep state. In your families, there's a deep state. In the, that small ministry you are in, there's a deep state. My friend, let me introduce you to another deep state. The deep state of heaven, where decisions are made. The deep state of heaven is where decisions are made. Now, what kind of decisions are made there? For you to be able to know the kind of decisions that are made in the deep state of heaven, you must be connected to heaven spiritually. Day in, day out. At night, during the day, at night, in the morning, all the time. You must be connected. And you know, there are many people that people can do for you. You can go to church and a pastor preaches. And they read the Bible for you and they explain what that Bible does. What the Bible says. You can go to a court of law and the law is read. Or a constitution is quoted. And a lawyer will, do, will interpret what that means to you. You know. You can try to cook something. It doesn't work. And you Google for a recipe. And Google or somebody online will be able to interpret that for you. There is no one who will carry you to the deep state of heaven. You have to go there yourself in the place of prayer. Now, this is what Jesus told the disciples. And imagine, these are the people that Jesus had, they were with Jesus day and night. Not me and you have never seen Jesus physically. These are people that were with Jesus all through. They were with Jesus everywhere. Everywhere Jesus went. They were with him. They saw Jesus perform miracles. They shook hands with them. They fed from the same table. You know, they were close to power. You know, if, if the, the current day godfathers, somebody would say Jesus was their godfather. Because I don't think they would Jesus ask Jesus anything and Jesus denied them. They were with Jesus. But listen what Jesus tells you. Tells them in um, uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. This is what the Bible says. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. So Jesus called the, the 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirit. So the disciples being with Jesus did not automatically mean that they have authority. Jesus had to call them and give them that authority, delegate his authority to them and give them authority over unclean spirits. So the authority that Jesus gave his disciples is authority against unclean spirit. So the authority that we have, therefore, it is a spiritual authority. That means if we have to make it, if we have to stay relevant, if we have to get power, then we must be connected spiritually. 
That is the place of authority. That is where decisions about your lives are made. Your decisions about your promotion. Decisions about your failure. Decisions about everything. When we read the book of Job, you know, the, 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 the orchestration of Job's suffering and even his restoration, it's a decision that was made from heavenly, heavenly places. It was in the spirit. It was up there. Whatever Job was suffering down here, it was nothing but just a physical manifestation. So child of God, if you need your life to change, then you must remain a person of prayer. You must seek God at all times, at all seasons. I don't know what you're trusting God for, but I am here to tell you, you must be a person of prayer. You must. Disciples were with Jesus, oh. They were with Jesus. But just the mere fact they were with Jesus did not mean that they got the authority. They did not have the authority over the evil spirits. We know that Jesus had the authority over the evil spirit. And that was not automatic for them. Jesus had to delegate that authority. So some people would operate on God fathers. You understand? No. Having a God father does not necessarily translate to you having a power the power or authority now friends prayer changes and the only time the only way prayer is going to change and transform your life is by you being part of the deep state of heaven it's by you making a choice and saying i am going to be a person of prayer i am going to pray over my life i am going to make decisions over my life in the spiritual realm i will not allow anything anything to deter me from accessing my blessings. I am not going to allow anything to stand on the way of my destiny. I will be part of a decision makers in the heavenly realm. The same way the devil presented himself before the Lord and accused Job. I am going to present myself before the Lord in prayer and present my case. There is no case that God does not listen to. There is no case that God will not listen to. God will listen to every case. You just need to be a person of prayer. If there is probably a sin that you have been struggling with, there is something that has been holding you bondage. There is something that has been putting you down. Let me tell you, child of God, you need to immerse yourself in the place of prayer. You need Jesus. You need to walk with God in the place of prayer. You need to understand as a believer, you got all power, you got all authority residing inside of you. No wonder the Bible would say, that God, for in, in all things, God works all things beautiful for those that have been called according to his purpose. Now you hear people ask, what is my purpose? Pastor, what is my purpose? My friend, what do you think my purpose is? Let me tell you where purpose is. Where you'll find your purpose. Where you'll walk boldly. Boldly. Where you walk fearlessly, where you walk with courage, it is in the place of prayer, children of God. In the place of prayer, you cannot get them wrong. In the place of prayer. I don't know whether it is marriage. I don't know whether it is school. I don't know whether it's your family. I don't know whether it's a place of work. I don't know. Can you be part of the deep state of heaven? And make decisions about your life? Yes, you can. You can. I have made it my purpose. And by the grace of... I have made it my purpose. And I tell myself, I, Rosie, I will work out my salvation with fear and trembling. And on top of that, I have made it my purpose to be part of the deep state of heaven, to make decisions about my life, about my children, about my husband, about my marriage, about everything around my life. It is going, those decisions, I will be on the table when those decisions are being made. 
And so I purpose to be the person. I purpose to be a person of prayer. And it is doable, children of God. It is not time as believers. We cannot live in complacency. Time is has run out. Time has run out for us to just be waiting for things to be done. It is time we moved spiritually. And I am telling you, when we get to move spiritually, things are going to align themselves. God is going to move in a mighty way. The only weapon you have, child of God, in this life is prayer. It is prayer. That is a weapon you have. And with this weapon, you don't need to know somebody to operate it. With this weapon, you don't need to be associated with certain group of people. No. With this weapon, with this weapon, you fight all your battles and win. You have heard it said that a man kneeling before God can stand before anyone. That is what I want that's where I want to reach. Now in Luke chapter 9 verse 1, the Bible says, And he called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to heal diseases. I am looking forward for a time when we believers, when we Christians can lay hands on an individual and he walks without gymnastics, without acting out. We lay hands on a lame person and they walk. We speak to situations and we let that situation move from here to the sea. And it is God because that is what Jesus said. Jesus said that if you have a faith as small as a mustard seed, you will be able to tell this mountain, move from here, go throw yourself in the sand, in the, in the sea, and it will go. That is the kind of authority I need in operation in my life. So child of God, I don't know what kind of battles you're fighting. I don't know what, who is against you. I don't know who is for you. But all I need to let you know is in the place of prayer, God moves. In the place of prayer, things changes. Hallelujah. In the place of prayer, my friend, you can never go wrong. So would you consider to be part of the deep state of heaven? If you do consider then start your time, consistent time with God in prayer. Don't pray to, don't, don't wish that you can pray for one hour, even if it's one minute. Tomorrow it will be two. As you continue to be five, as you continue to be 20, as you continue to be one hour, as you continue, you make it, you, the way you, you sharpen a driving skill. You drive from here, you are fearing trucks, and then you go to the highway, and then you go to a longer distance, like that, like that. That is prayer. Would you want your life to change? Please consider being part of the deep state of heaven. Here at Rosalwa, it's a bye-bye.